Hello friends! Happy spring! Oh my gosh, spring is here. It's in the air, at least in Texas. <laughs> at least in Texas, maybe not in other parts of the world, but here in Texas, the birds are back. The weather is beautiful. We're like in the 70s. I'm loving it. It is springtime, y'all. So I am here with some spring eyeshadow picks. As always, you can wear whatever palette, whatever color story you want all year long, but these are the palettes that make me think spring and I want to share them with you. If you're new, hello and welcome. My name is Kelly and I love all things makeup and beauty. I love talking. I love makeup. I love talking about makeup. So if you would like to chat about makeup too, I would love to have you subscribe and be part of the K-Bella fam. But why don't we go ahead and let's just jump into the video. When I am thinking of spring eyeshadow palettes. I am thinking of something light and airy. I think of like flowers, greenery, purples, pinks, pastels. That is the time for pastels. So these are the palettes that I picked out that make me personally think of spring that I want to remind myself to reach for during this season. I have eight palettes to share with you. I also have done this video several times over. You're probably gonna see some repeats, but I will create a spring eyeshadow palettes playlist in case you wanna binge, and I'm gonna have that linked down below if you wanna check that out. I do have most of these palettes. There are some that I don't have. So let's just start with what's on my eyes. I'm not going in any particular order, but I will go with what's on my eyes because I created this spring inspired look to start off the video. And I was reaching for the Odin's Eye Flora Story Palette. This is a collaboration between Odin's Eye and my beautiful friend Amanda or makeup just for fun. I think her palette is like what I think of when I think spring. When I am thinking spring and the flowers and just the vibrant colors, but the lighter colors and the pastels and the purples and the greens, this is what I think of. Today I went in with Shroom. I have that in the crease. I took this Dawn shade, put it on the lid. I took Azalea and I buffed that underneath the lower lash line. And then I took Orchid and just put it on the lower part, the lower part, the outer part of my lower lash line. And that's how I created this look. It's simple, it's easy, it's light, but I do have that little pop of color underneath. And I just find that this palette and this color story, it just makes me feel good. It makes me happy. Purple is my favorite color. It makes me happy. You have like the greens in here. They have they have some flower names. Azalea, Clover, Shroom, Magnolia. Y'all, this is just, it's beautiful. It's perfection. I'm so proud of my friend Amanda. I know she poured her heart and soul into this. She is a neutral lover at heart like myself, but she did a great, great job adding pops of color in here, making this fun for everyone. I feel like the formula is great. The mattes are super creamy and blendable. The shimmers are pigmented. I did go in with my finger when I was using the Dawn shade, but I just love the looks that I create with this one. And I don't know if it's available anymore. I'm sorry. Some of these are not going to be available, but they're just, they're my loves. They're my loves. Amanda is my love. This is a great palette. And if you have it, pull it out, y'all. Pull it out. Create a look. It's stunning. A palette that I no longer have is the Glam Light Ice Cream Dream Palette. That is, if you have it, that is a great palette for spring if you're looking for pastels. I often think of pastels when I think of springtime, and I did have the Glam Light Ice Cream Dream Palette. I decluttered it and shipped it off to a friend so that they could get more use out of it. I don't love the Glam Light shimmers. There are so many people, y'all. There are so many people, friends of mine, who love the Glam Light formula. They love the Glam Light shimmers. It had a putty texture to the shimmers. I could not pick it up with a brush. I had to use my finger and I just didn't love that. I did not love that. I much prefer a brush. I prefer a brush when I am applying my eyeshadows. So that is ultimately why I decluttered it. But I think the color story is great. I did a, a whole video. These are the looks that I created with that eyeshadow palette. And I feel like the looks are gorgeous. I'm looking at it on my phone. Very colorful. I, oh, I really like the like purple and green eyeshadow look that I created, but I will have my video linked down below if you do want to see me using it. I just, I just couldn't, I didn't love the shimmers and I wasn't reaching for it. And I kept it for a while thinking pastels, 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 but you know what? I am at a point in my life where I want my makeup collection to be curated and products that I'm using and loving. So I don't think the palette is bad. I think if you have it, it would be a great eyeshadow palette for the springtime, just for me in my collection. I wasn't reaching for it, which is why I decluttered it. But if you're looking for pastels, those mattes were great. It was the shimmers that I could not get down with, but the mattes were beautiful. It is a great pastel palette. And y'all, some of my friends absolutely love the Glam Light formula. So don't not try the brand just because I'm saying that I don't like the formula. You may love it. I did not. 
but you may. So if you have that palette, it's a great one for spring. I just thought we'd kind of alternate between, you know, the palettes that I have in my collection and the palettes that I don't. One palette that I instantly thought of, instantly, was the Cor de Rosa Mini from Sigma, or the full size, if you have the full size. I have the mini, and I am definitely into a mini. This is a seven pan eyeshadow palette, and it has beautiful, beautiful shades. You have like these first four shades, the quad, which is more of like neutral vibes, I feel like, good for every day, but then you have these deeper, like almost cranberry raspberry shades that are absolutely stunning for the springtime. I think of like the rosy, I mean Cor de Rosa. Hello, Cor de Rosa. <laughs> I think of roses and flowers and just rosy type of shades in the spring. I feel like this palette is really great quality. I do have a code with Sigma. It's Kbella if you want to save some money when you are purchasing. The only thing about my palette, y'all, you'll see in the swatches, Dark Night did not swatch for me. I could swatch it on my finger and it stained my finger, but I could not get it to translate on my arm, which I thought was very weird because... <laughs> In all honesty, I've had three of these specific Cor de Rosa 7-pan eyeshadow palettes. I've had three of them. Two of them were sent to me from Sigma, and then one of them I purchased when I purchased my friend Karen Harris's favorites kit. I got a Cor de Rosa, and I just... I don't know what happened with this particular Dark Knight. I decluttered two of the eyeshadow palettes because I didn't need three of them, right? And so I didn't realize that this Dark Knight was not swatching for me when the other two did. So I don't know what happened with mine. I don't think that it is the Dark Knight shade's fault. I don't think that it is Sigma's fault. Something just happened with mine. There's no telling. My daughter gets into my makeup all the time. But don't don't pay attention to that when you're paying attention to the swatches. I like the Sigma formula. I feel like the mattes are super creamy and blendable. I just really like these shimmer shades. These shimmer shades are more of a lighter shimmer. You're not going to get like the indie bam in your face sparkles. It's more toned down, which is actually great if you have eczema on your eyes like me or if you have mature eyelids, wrinkles, crinkles that you don't want to accentuate. The Sigma formula is a great one for that. Moving into another Odin's Eye palette and another collab palette, my friend Angie and Yelika Nyquist did a collab with Odin's Eye for the Hella palette. This was the original. She also came out with a Halloween. This one is the original palette. It is absolutely stunning, and I instantly, instantly thought of this one when I was thinking of spring palettes because when you look at it, oh my gosh, like the first two rows, those greens, the mustardy yellow, like screaming plants to me, right? And then you have these bright pinks, which are absolutely stunning. If you want more of like a smoky vibe down at the bottom, you have River Soot and Complete. Just they give you a nice smoky type of vibe. I like mixing these bottom shades with the two pink shades in Hella and Goddess also, and I feel like it just creates a beautiful, beautiful look. You also, if you're a neutral lover like me and you want to dabble in color, this is great because you have Moss, Underworld, Rebirth, Decay. Those all are giving you wool those are all giving you like very neutral brown vibes that are safe and then you can just take a pop of color and put it on the lid also. Now you can no longer get this palette because it was a collab with my friend Angie and it was her original collab but if you have this one definitely pull it out. The color story is just it's magnificent. It performs beautifully. Again I have videos using these any any palette that I have videos using I will list it down below and link them down below so you can check them out but I love this one. Let's switch back over to an eyeshadow palette that I no longer have. Y'all may be disappointed because I raved about this palette and I still think it is a magnificent, magnificent palette, but it is the ColourPop Lemoncello palette. This palette, again, it may be another one that's no longer available, I'm sorry, but if you have it, pull it out. This palette, y'all, is absolutely stunning. The quality of ColourPop shadows is great. I really, really enjoy it. You have this like neutral row, you have the row with like the yellows and greens, but then you have a pop of blue in there. I loved the Lemoncello palette. I really enjoyed it when it was in my collection, and I also kept it for sentimental reasons because my husband and I went to the Amalfi Coast, and it just brought me back to a time and place that I really loved and enjoyed and like great memories, y'all, if you've never been to the Amalfi Coast. It is stunning. It is absolutely beautiful. 
I ended up decluttering it out of my collection because again, curated collection. I was taking my friend Samantha March's advice. Samantha said that you can love makeup and not keep it in your collection, right? And I was like, that is so true. You can love the ColourPop Limoncello palette. You can have such a sentimental feeling toward it and not have to keep it. And I can still speak on it and say it's a great palette and if you have it, you should bring it out without me having it in my collection because I do have an extensive collection and I want to love the makeup that I have. And if I love something that I'm not using, I want someone else to love it too. There was one look in particular that I fell in love with with the Limoncello palette. I'll have to see if I can re recreate it with something else, but it was like this blue look with a pop of gold right on the center. It was a halo eye. I loved it. I thought it looked beautiful on me. It was a great palette. That would be a great look to create for the springtime. And if you have this one, definitely pull it out during this season. I cannot talk about spring without mentioning the Sydney Grace Tiny Marvels palette. This is a collaboration with Mel Thompson. I do believe that Sydney Grace is still restocking this palette, and I do believe that she gives the proceeds to Mel's family, which I think is absolutely amazing. But this eyeshadow palette is stunning y'all it is stunning i've had mine for several years now and i find that my mats are starting to get a little dusty so if you see that here it it's not the palette's fault it's old it's from before my son and my son is a year and a half at this point so i probably need to purchase another one but these shimmers y'all fire butts is one of my all-time favorite shades of life hands down this meadow hawk shade is beautiful bb is beautiful scarab is great if you're looking for that like blue blue brown pigment type of shade but then you also have these pops flutters by jewel bee mantis love bug these pops of mattes that can really create such a beautiful look i've created several looks with this palette on my channel. Again, if you're interested in seeing them in action, I will have them down below. But the Sydney Grace quality is just amazing. It's top notch. I really, really love the shimmers. I think Mel did a great job. I love that we have a piece of her. You know, I, that so many people in the community were so saddened by her loss that it's so nice to have a palette like this. I mean, I will always have it in my collection. I may repurchase another one because like I said, my mats are getting a little dusty. But this is a beautiful palette if you are intimidated by color, but you want to play with it a little bit because you do have these great neutrals and then the pops so you can do like a lower lash line pop like I did here I didn't use this palette but you can do that with this palette as well absolutely stunning Sydney Grace and Mel did a fabulous job and I just love this palette Moving into another collaboration, my bestie Heather did a collab with Unearthly the Resurgence palette y'all this palette is stunning it is so pretty and these shimmers I'm telling you I am telling you Nobody does shimmers like Indie, okay? Indie shimmers are on another level. You have this bright green, you have this bright pink, you have this blue. This shade right here in Transformation, is it blue? Is it purple? Is it both? You have this red shade. I love Solar Symbol. Y'all, there was a look that I created for, I think it was like a Valentine's Day look. I took Nymph and I put that all in the crease and then I took Solar Symbol and put that all over the lid. I had so many people commenting, what is on your eyes? What palette is that? How did you create that look? It is stunning. And people were surprised when I said that it was unearthly resurgence because you look at this and you think, wow, so colorful, so pigmented, so bright, but you can get a more subtle toned down look. And the way that you apply these, you can take this life shade dip it in, mix it with any of the mattes to lighten it up a little bit. And this is just going to be beautiful for those spring days when you do want a little bit of a pop. I think that it would also be really great to take Regeneration and put that all over the crease and take this Solar Symbol shade and put that on the lid, I think would be beautiful. I just love, I just love the shimmers. I love the shimmers. I know Heather poured her heart and soul into this. I think it is an absolutely stunning eyeshadow palette. And I think that you'll be able to get some great spring looks with this one. We will end with another palette that is no longer in my collection, but I did own it. It is the Nomad Cosmetics Paradise Island Eyeshadow Palette. This one is beautiful. You have like the top row, which is like your pinks to your oranges. You have like a little bit of a magenta shade in there. Then you have a row of greens and blue greens in the middle, followed by blues and purples down at the bottom. The quality of these shadows are absolutely amazing. The mattes are super creamy and blendable. The shimmers in this palette perform amazingly, and I got some really fun, vibrant looks out of it. Just again, I was holding on to it thinking, if I need color, in the event that I wanna do something colorful, I'll reach into this palette, and I did, but in the event that I wanna do something colorful is not 
not very often. It is few and far between, but I was so thankful to have this in my collection. I think it's a beautiful palette. I do believe it's still available on the Nomad website if you are interested in checking it out. I do recently have a code with Nomad. It is just Kbella. It will save you some money if you are shopping their site, but again, I think the packaging on this one is beautiful. I think the quality of the shadows is amazing, and if you are into light spring colorful looks, this would be a great one to pull out. Okay, friends, that is going to do it for this video. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. What eyeshadow palettes make you think spring? Do you have any of these? Are you going to be pulling them out? What are you wearing? What's on your wish list? I want to know. The Sephora VIB sale is coming up. I want to know your thoughts. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe before you go. That way I can see you in the next one. Bye.